Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today this is fun. This is a lot of fun. You may know the man himself if you're not Mr. Tony. He is uh, someone who's featured a lot on my channel by popular demand and a lot of you have asked for him to return. Well in today's video he has returned in full force. Obviously as you know things are a little bit different at the moment so me and Tony set up a video call. I wanted to touch base with him, see what he's doing with his current cars potential cars which you might be buying, all of that in this video. And also, questions being like, is Tony gonna buy a hypercar? And what hypercar would he buy, will he buy? All of that, it is in this video. So sit back and enjoy, this is a lot of fun. Uh, like I say, a video call we set up and uh, we have a right laugh along the way. So I hope you're all well guys, enjoy. We're live. You in? Yeah, this is recording. We're recording, I mean, this is gonna go terribly wrong, I can tell. Loads of people fighting questions tone, so are you ready? What, just like that? Not just gonna do an introduction or you're not gonna you're just gonna go straight in? You're not you're not gonna warm me up first or No, I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna see how this goes and then well, okay, how are you? Are you well? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, I mean I mean they've literally just turned the phone off, been sending me links all day to some stupid app. It's because you can't work it. I've been saying to him all along this use Zoom here for over a month because we've been in lockdown and the first thing is it's all right time to ask you some questions and you're drinking Red Bull again. The doctor Red said Bull. you should drink I know. You have had girlfriends before but ironically they all fire you off. I can't think why but they do. <laughs> Actually some good questions here to ask you. Okay and one of them which is the first one which you will like and that is will you and Tony ever go racing together? Pro-am. What, you the pro am? I mean, that's not the one way round. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, me being the pro, you being the am. That's, that's correct, yeah, because I will be literally at the back. Or me being the am, you being the pro. <laughs> well, oh, can you imagine that if I come past you? <laughs> you know what? It would probably be funny with this quite big budget and I'll just crash into you and turn one and take you out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're on the same team. Oh, are we? Yeah, oh. we can win together, so let's not try and do that. So yeah, there is a good chance. Maybe down the line, I'm trying to do more racing, and Tony would be good to you get Tony racing more. So yeah, maybe. You'd, you'd have to give me a bit more tuition, or we'd have to get a proper driver to teach me a bit more. So, um, and then and then and then I'll be quick. Some people say I'm, <laughs> I am ridiculously very bad. <laughs> Uh, th that's not some people, that's basically everyone I've ever met on the race circuit. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, 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 I'm all right. Um, okay, we'll move on. What was your first crash? Have you ever, ever had a crash, Tone? Um, yeah, of course. My first big crash was, I was about 18, I think, and I had an old E325 BMW, and like an E on F bridge. I don't know what model they call it, but it was the old box shape. It was a 325 Sport, I think, and I crashed it into a skip. Like, I literally launched it into a skip. I mean, that's, that, that's not funny. Well, I was going a bit too fast down the road, and uh, it, it was crashing into a skip, or it was hit a van head on. So I decided to hit the skip, and I completely <laughs> broke the car off. I mean, that's chaos. I mean, I had some shunts when I was a bus driver as well. Ah, yeah. So I, some people might not be aware, but Tony used to be a bus driver. I mean, I absolute, absolutely launched a cyclist into a bush. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. I was going down a bus lane, and it was, it was in the morning. It was years and years ago. I was going towards um, um, Camberwell. And this bike was on the pavement. It just jumped in front of me onto the road. And it was a woman, bless her. And she did literally not know what it was. Luckily, she was all right. And she says, it was so funny because she got off her bike. And she went, oh, no, my bike, my bike. And I said, well, you've ruined it, haven't you? Like that. <laughs> How much fuel have you ever put in Archie's cars? Well, quite a lot. Because every time I get in, there's no fuel in them. I forgot my credit card. So, <laughs> I can only put that in the car. 
Hello, son. My day is so bad. Hello. <laughs> well, well, let's not talk about my car. No, let's Because we know this is a good bit. one. Yeah, let's this... talk about your car. This is a good one. <laughs> I have to put some in because it's actually the first thing we get in the car. We, he says petrol station. No, no, no. I sometimes put 20 quid in. No, you sometimes put six quid in. It's not even got off the, it's not even got off the fuel light. The, the, the quick answer to that is Tony doesn't buy my fuel. Um, no, or, I don't know. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> BMW or Mercedes? What do, you, what do you fancy more? Five years ago, I would have not even questioned Merc. I would have said BMW straight away. But as I've, as I've got a bit older, I've leaned towards Mercedes a bit more. So at this present moment in time, I'd probably go Merc. Although I do still think that BMW do make better driver's cars. Something which people will actually really want to know actually with you, and that is you were uh, a bus driver, you're self-made, but how did you start out selling cars? People, a lot of, I actually did it back in the day as well. I bought and sold some cars, wasn't very good at it. Um, but is that what you did? Did you, originally buy a couple of cars like um you know cheap start selling them realize you made a little bit of money and then you built it up from there yeah so it is well documented how i got going on the internet um we've spoke about it before and and me and sam have spoke about it a lot but but um basically i had a valeting company um and, and i used to clean all the cars at the main dealers um, which is how I got my contacts, and I started buying really cheap cars um, because I had a I had a contact, and that's how I got going. Literally, just like that. A lot of people, Tone, will want to know is that you actually this time. Well, it was a little bit earlier. This time last year, Tony, we went to Geneva. We had a good laugh. Been out of England before ever. Of course not. Let's show everyone my new trainers. I've hook Tony up with some new off-white Air Maxes. Is that good? Yeah, that... <laughs> Tony was originally going to buy an F8 Tributo. Is it no longer? You had a deposit uh, and you were going to do it. What's going on? I I did have a deposit on it. You're quite right. Carbon down here. And down, down there. there. Yeah, and we can see the, the carbon. Front. Yeah. But but you'd, you'd want a diffuser, but you wouldn't want as much carbon on because this is a serious production car. You haven't got to go crazy on this car. Yeah. You put some carbon on it. Look at the back though. I know. Look the at, the, at the back. Look at that. It's stunning, isn't it? Don't you think it looks a little bit like Ford GT at the back? But in a good way. In, in a, a good, good way. way. Yes, in a good way. Yeah, in a good way. You can probably get them tips black. Yeah, you can black out the black out the rear tips as well. You wouldn't have them wheels. You'd no, have you'd, wheels. you'd have black wheels as well. Yeah, you'd have and then you're in. But you wouldn't have them type of wheels. You'd probably have the diamond cut ones. Yeah. I have since retracted my deposit. It wasn't actually that long ago, but but I've retracted it because uh, uh, I didn't change my mind, but I just think I'll wait till they're used. What do you think now? What price do you think they'll be when they're used? What are they new anyway? Um, they're to spec to be like two fifty probably ish, yeah, maybe yeah. two. Yeah, two fifty, two sixty. Um, so um, yeah, a used one will be, you know, twenty grand more than a four eight eight. I've got to buy one. I love Ferrari. Okay. And this car looks mega, I think. When are you going to get an Aventador, Tony? People are asking. Never. Never. Not interested. You actually have never really been into it. There was one stage, actually, where I remember where you were tempted. I remember there was a time when you were tempted, but ever since, you've never been tempted to go back. Well, it, it was going to be an SVJ. Ah. I was going to get, try and get an SVJ. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... Uh, I very quickly changed my mind, and I am very glad now because they're a hundred grand on the list. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm very glad that uh, that I didn't get one. Are you going to be doing more track days? People are wondering. Are you going to be doing more track days? That's something which people are asking. These are chaos. Yeah. <laughs> are we in? Show everyone how you're going to drive it now. <laughs> you feel all right in there? Oh, I'm I'm having a great day. I'll tell you what I'm going to do this year, guys. I'm going to do some work and concentrate on trying to save my business.
Yeah. So will I be will I be flaunting around doing track days and road trips? Probably not. It's not a priority. So I will do what I need to prioritise, and that, and that's keeping my business going for obvious reasons. And how have you? How has this affected you? Obviously, it's going to affect everyone in many different ways. Is this going to be a big blow, especially for the car market? Yeah, not just for the car market, mate. You know, as you know, I've got other businesses as well, so I don't really talk about it. But I have got other other sources of income, and um, yeah, we're we're all affected right across the board. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's not it's not not good at the moment, and. Obviously, there's, there's, you've got no, no one's got any income. So especially, you know, small businesses or media businesses that have been told to shut by the government and, they, you know, we've got no income. So with no income, you've got no cash flow. With no cash flow, you've got no, uh, no profit. If, for instance, you have a car at the moment and you are absolutely desperate to get out of it because you need the money, Someone is going to run across a room and kick you in the bollocks so hard that you're probably not going to get up for six months. However, when this is all blown over, there will be some sort of market again. Hence, people will start buying and selling cars again. I'm not buying cars at the moment because we're closed. But as soon as we reopen, I will start buying cars again because it's my job. So. Um, yeah, the market would have taken a dip now if you're trying to sell one. But if you're if you're a remote dealer like myself and lots of others, we're all closed. So there's no market. No one's no one's allowed to sell cars. Actually, probably asking you, what's the best car Archie's owned but never kept? Well, I guess GT3 RS. Well, he ain't kept any of them. He's all gone apart from one. I mean, he's never <laughs> kept cars. I mean, I mean, I've had shoes longer than him. He's had cars, but um, yeah, the 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 free RS would be would be my pick. The rest of your cars have uh, he'd been hideous, to be fair. What's the favourite car that you've ever owned? That's quite interesting. Me, yeah. uh, free RS. Yeah, got to be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, another one, which is quite interesting. Uh, I think this has come up quite a lot, and that is why does Tony not have a YouTube channel? I think you just enjoy being on our stuff, and you don't you need to edit it. So I found. I'm gonna cut the sea, boy. We're on. We're in. We're, this is live. Oh, is it? Yeah. On. Not not take the bit out. No, no, no. We're gonna leave this bit in. We're leaving it in. Yeah. I mean, you're you're basically in every video of mine, so you might as well just be on mine. <laughs> I'm basically in every video of everyone's. Yeah. I think the simple but, fact um, is that it. Uh, there's no doubt that it obviously helps Tony's business and if he didn't do it, he probably wouldn't do it and you probably just like, yeah. It's not, it's, not my, it's not my job. It's not my living. So it would make no sense for me. YouTube, what people, a lot of people don't understand and what I understand, obviously, because I'm involved in it, is YouTube takes a lot of time. It is a job. So unfortunately, unless you've got lots of millions of subscribers and, and you're very successful, it wouldn't earn me enough money. People are asking what your first car was. My first car was a gold. Gold? Uh, a gold Ford Sierra 2.3 gear with pepper pot wheels. Pe pepper pot? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the double P. No, not the double P, just pepper pot. I remember you the first time when you were on uh, Paul Wallace's channel and you were in that Audi R8. M5 Comp or E63S? M5 Comp. Oh, you always bang on about the M5 Comp, even though my car is, the M8 is basically an M5 Comp. It's an M5, it's an M5 Comp with two extra doors mate that i think the m5 comp is 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 the best all-round car you can buy maybe the new rs6 challenges it now but the rs6 don't do skids and and it, it's still not as all-rounded as the new m5 yeah it, I think, I and for the price as well like an m5 comp a year old one is you know early 60s or 60 grand i mean it's unbelievable 
So I'd, I'd have M5 Company. 720S, Perth, AMG GTR or R8. Which would you buy today and why? And I know what you're going to say. Perth. Oh, I thought you were going to say R8. No, Perth. Great car. For the money as well, like when you think the, the, the way it looks, the way it sounds, the way it drives. Um, yeah, it, it, it is reliable. Uh, it looks good. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's, it, it, they don't, you know, they don't break. So um, apart from servicing, they're not that expensive to run either compared to any other supercar. What would be your hypercar, actually, if you could buy so something? I've, so I've got two. Okay. I've got two. One to look at in the garage. Garage. And drive on a, on a garage. Yeah. Garage, where I'm from, boy. Uh, and, and to look at and drive 200 miles a year would be an Enzo. Ferrari Enzo. Yeah. To... To... Um, drive more, it would have to be a more modern hypercar and it would have to be a laugh. Because you like driving, so I could see I could see you in a laugh, you know. Yeah, and have a laugh. Mate, you'd suit one of them. It, well, my bank wouldn't, but yeah. I mean, I'd kill myself. That's fast, that car, ain't it? Well, that, funnily enough, the LaFerrari was one of the first cars that I drove on my channel. did that video the Rimac Concept 1 versus the LaFerrari they said to me they woke me up at 3 in the morning and they said here are the keys you've got to go flat out and I was sort of there just like flat chat <laughs> on a runway and I didn't know what day of the week it was but they're fast aren't they yeah I think we were going yeah just under 200 or something I, I can't remember yeah, yeah crazy, crazy 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 the thing yeah. is with the LaFerrari what really impressed me is just how it still is just the best it's the best car um, yeah, for me it's the best looking um, and the way it drove on that day was just still mind blowing considering that I've driven most race cars so that's how impressive it is yeah to be honest out, out of them holy trinity cars the P1 and the 8, 918 and the LAF obviously I'd have the LAF but I actually think the best car is probably the 918 it's probably the best car as a car but yeah. but I, I, I don't I'd obviously have the laugh. Yeah, when Nico Rosberg took me around Silverstone in that 918, I was laughing. I mean, he barely hit the brakes, didn't he? <laughs> well, by the time he hit the brakes, I was crying. tomorrow you'd buy a laugh and if I won the last year I think I would buy one I just think they're the best yeah yeah it just it's, it's, a it's just oh, there's nothing could <laughs> imagine you going right down Sloan Street and a laugh yeah well, I'd be in the front of Harrods should we answer one more tone yeah and then we'll leave it there we'll let you get on with your uh, we'll let you get on with your evening today uh Quite a good question to end this, and that is best family estate car for ten grand. Oh, is that? I mean, I've just broken my chair. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> is that... Oh, oh. I mean, if you'd have fallen off then, that would have been the funniest thing. <laughs> I would go German, and I would probably say. BMW 3 Series estate. I, I think for 10 grand, you'd get a an half-decent estate car, you know, with sensible miles. And, um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd go German and, and probably a 
three series, probably. Anything else? No, that, that's enough questions, I think. I mean, I think I've got my... I think I've, I think I've done all right today. I think I've recorded it. Uh, well, well, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, I had to do that the other week with Sam. The, I mean, this was, this was just a test. No. <laughs> well, I, I hope it works. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm... I'm good. I, I hope. Well, if 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 we got to record it again, you got to make me promise that this time you're not going to wear your mum's top. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!